I've had the great privilege of participating in three revisions of the Declaration of Helsinki over the past 20 years. And I must say that I'm impressed at how the DOH has always been adaptively modified to meet the dynamic challenges and environments of research involving human participants. A World Medical Association General Assembly took place in this very building in 1964 and uh, then they accepted the Declaration of Helsinki. I know some people who were present in this building, uh, for example, a very dear colleague, Johanna Idenberg who was also active in SEOMS, and he told so many stories about this 1964 General Assembly. And when Declaration of Helsinki was uh, finalized that year, it was also presented directly to the President of Finland, Mr. Urho Kekkonen. I wish to congratulate this 60 years anniversary of anniversary of the Declaration of Helsinki. It is a policy that has indeed earned its status as one of the WMA's core ethical documents, and I'm certain it will remain the most important guideline of its kind for years to come. Congratulations.